Hi everyone, my name is May and welcome to my desk setup 2022. For the Logitech G502 mouse, this has always been a favorite of mine. I actually haven't used any other mouse besides this one. The first mouse I had was the wired version of this and then I recently bought the wireless version of this a few months ago because I'm just in love with the size and just the whole functionality of the Logitech G502 mouse. So I went with the Logitech G Pro keyboard because it was much quieter than my first keyboard which was a blue switch HyperX keyboard. I type very loud and it tends to annoy people around me. Uh, for some reason I type very aggressively. So the Logitech G Pro keyboard has Romer G switches, which is a lot quieter. And I really do enjoy the RGB that it has on it. Rode PodMic overall has a great sound in my opinion at least i've done a lot of research of which microphones i wanted to upgrade from the blue yeti that was my beginner streamer microphone and the go xlr mini pairs up so well with the rode pod mic i can basically control the audio levels that i want to be hearing so i can have my game at full blast while having my specific uh, audio chat on discord at a lower volume or vice versa I can also mute myself uh, whenever I want at a click of a key which has been very useful and most of all the RGB in the Go XLR Mini is very awesome. I can change it to red and white which is my favorite color as of right now. The microphone arm for my Rode Pod mic is the Elgato arm specifically the arm that is lower because i know that there's a regular one that you can clamp onto your desk and it's it goes like that <laughs> um but yes i specifically chose that version because i have the mini desk stand that's on top of my desk so i needed something that could go under i didn't really want a desk clamp for the microphone next to me um so it works great i love how you can just customize it to go higher, to go to the left or right. I can move it out of my way when I need to, and I can use the screw to either loosen it up or uh, fix the wiring. And the most important part is Elgato thought of a way to manage the cables, to hide the cables. And don't we all love that? The Stream Deck by Elgato is super useful, especially if you're a content creator or if you just do a lot of editing overall. It's a shortcut key to anything you would like it to do and the customization itself is endless. I love how you can configure it however you like. I use it a lot for my streams uh, whenever I want to switch a scene or if I want to trigger an event or a reaction. It's overall been very useful to me and yeah I, I don't know what i would do without the stream deck to be honest i have three logitech cameras uh the first one the c930 on my left monitor is used for work and the other two are the c920s used for streaming the other one is used for you know my face during stream and then the other one is my hand cam basically or if i want to showcase anything on my desk let's say i'm opening something as an example but yeah these cameras are great for streaming and i'm not sure if i'm gonna upgrade them in the future they've been working really great for me and i love them SteelSeries Arctis 7 wireless 
version is the headset that I've been using for my streams. I used to use HyperX Cloud 2s, but then it was wired and I got a little bit annoyed with uh, the wires and everything. I also wasn't a fan of the black and red uh, colors that was on the outside of the HyperX anymore. Um, I loved it in the beginning, but not so much. I wanted more of a minimal look and I feel like this is minimal itself. It's not too bulky, it's not too huge in my opinion, and it's very comfortable and has been very comfortable. This was gifted to me by Jan and I've been using it for maybe about a year now and this hasn't really hurt my ears with my glasses that much. So I can definitely account for its comfortability. So overall, this has been uh, my gaming headphones and I love it. Now the headphone stand that my headphones are currently sitting on is also gifted to me by Jan. I love the wood look and it also matched great with my desk. Next to my headphone setup, you can see that I have a stand with my Nintendo Switch Lite. I bought that back in March 2020, the beginning of the pandemic. I bought it for solely the purpose of Animal Crossing. And then beside my Switch, you can see that I have two nano blocks there. One of them is the ramen noodles, and then the other one is a sushi. All right, so Kaylee decided to join my YouTube video. Say hi, Kaylee. Say hi. Other things on my desk include a small mini bicycle clock that my mom found for me at Hobby Lobby. It's really cute. I've always wanted a small clock of some sort at my desk. Sometimes it's hard for me to check out the time on my monitor, so it's been really useful. I love how my no face figure can sit right at the bicycle seat. And then below the clock, you can see I have a figure of Totoro and then I have a figure of the Smisky series. I have a collection of Smisky figures actually from different series. I love them all. Two other things that I have besides my clock is my AirPods because I just like to have them there to grab and go whenever I need them. And I also have a fidget toy that I bought from Barnes & Nobles. I tend to get nervous sometimes and overthink, so sometimes I just grab it to be able to play with it whenever I need to, and it usually helps me uh, relax or focus. My mouse pad has served me great um, since I bought it on a whim. Honestly, it's pretty comfortable on my wrist, so I don't have much to complain about it. It is a dark gray color mixed with some gray in it. So it tends to have marks or residue on it very easily. You can see it very easily. So I guess that's the only downside or con that I have with it. But like I said, I will be upgrading this mouse pad uh, early next year once I find the perfect mouse pad to upgrade to. And once I do upgrade that, most likely I'll be including that in my desk setup 2023. I have a Rubik's Cube gifted by Jan and a book called Atomic Habits by James Clear sitting on my desk. I usually like to leave a book that I'm currently reading on my desk because it's easier for me to see it and want to read it because I do want to maintain a reading habit. My goal for 2022 was to read three books and I think I've read, I've exceeded that goal, probably read maybe five to seven books this year. I have to fact check that, but definitely more than three books. I'm very proud of myself. I'm not a very consistent reader, but I try to be, and I definitely will increase that goal for 2023. Now that we are through with everything on my desk, we are gonna talk about my office chair. So my first chair was a gaming chair. It was the black and red one, you know, the stereotypical gaming chair. And I loved that chair, right? But then I got a little bit older, years passed, and it wasn't really great for my back. And I wasn't really into the gaming chair look anymore. It's gifted to me by Jan. It's a decent chair. It has ergonomic support on my lower back and I can 
put it up or put it down however I want and it has a good headrest and the arms could go up and down. It's a pretty decent chair for its price. Another part of my desk setup, um, not really on my desk, but it's part of my desk setup behind me is my three wallpapers from Pung. She's a Korean animation artist, really popular on YouTube. She's one of my favorites and I showed her to Jan and then she bought me a 2022 calendar by her by surprise and I've been basically hanging them on my wall. These two down here are like not calendars, they're just uh, free wallpapers that came along with the calendar and then the one at the top is the calendar itself. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out my desk setup 2022 and I am super excited to see what's in store for 2023. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.